Today we're going to be looking at how to convert centimeters into meters. For question number one, we're being asked to convert 300 centimeters into meters. Looking up top here, we can see our conversion and 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. So when we're converting centimeters into meters, we're going to divide the value of our centimeters by 100 in order to convert those centimeters into meters. Returning back to question number one, where we're being asked to convert 300 centimeters into meters. Well, we're going to divide 300 by 100 in order to convert those centimeters into meters. Or another way to think about this is, how many equal groups of 100 can we make out of 300? Well, we know that we can make three equal groups of 100 out of 300. So when we convert 300 centimeters into meters, we get three meters. Now let's move on to question number two, where this time we're being asked to convert 1,150 centimeters into meters. Now, this one isn't going to be quite so straightforward as our first problem, but there is a little trick that's going to help us solve this. Let's return back to question number one, where we started out with 300 centimeters. Now, any time that you have a whole number, there is a decimal to the right of that whole number. We typically don't write it though because it's usually not necessary. Here's where a little trick comes into play. Whenever you divide a number by 100, you can accomplish this by simply shifting the decimal place two places to the left. So when we're dividing 300 by 100, we're going to shift the decimal place once and twice. So it's between the three and the zero. And now we don't have to include the zeros to the right of the decimal place. So we get the answer of three, just like we did up top. Now let's give this a try with 1,150 to convert those centimeters into meters. So we have a decimal to the far right, and then we're going to move that decimal place twice to the left to divide this number by 100. So our decimal place is now going to lie between the one and the five. We don't have to include the zero to the right of the decimal place. So we're left with a decimal of 11 and 5 tenths. So when we convert 1,150 centimeters into meters, we get 11 and 5 tenths of a meter. So hopefully by now you understand how to convert centimeters into meters. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.